Good afternoon and welcome to Svalbard, 76 degrees north, high above the Arctic Circle and of course you expected to see me in a hat and the sun shining down. Undoubtedly the Vikings came here but the earliest recording charting of Svalbard was when William Barrett's came here in 1596 and through the 17th and 18th centuries Svalbard was used as a base for northern hemisphere whaling and so successful were they that by the early 1800s they had to close up shop and leave. They'd nearly killed all the whales. Fear not, because John Munro Longyear, an American industrialist miner, turned up here in the late 1800s, discovered coal and started coal mining, which continues to this day. So one of the great ironies, one of the places in the world most susceptible to climate change, gets all their electricity from coal. Now, Longyear discovered it, and this is why they named the capital Longyear Bien, Longyear's city. And Longyear Bien is the most northern capital city for a region in the world, mind you. Everything that happens in Svalbard is the northernmost in the world. Longyear Bien is the northernmost city in the world. Yep. And it's got the northernmost yeah. church. And this is the northernmost Vegemite on toast. In Longyear Bien, you can do some other magnificent stuff, like go snowshoeing in some beautiful nature, so long as you take a guide dog. I want you to meet my guide dog. Inuk, showing me around. So about 2,100 people live here in Svalbard permanently. It's used as the base for most of the Northern Pole expeditions. It's one of the major habitats for polar bears. And as the ice is retreating, they're seeing fewer and fewer numbers of polar bears here. Now, the west coast of Svalbard is a full 10 degrees warmer than the east coast of Svalbard. We're on the west coast now, but it's not because of the sun, it's because of the Gulf Stream coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. That Gulf Stream keeps the waters inside relatively temperate, so ice doesn't form here. Sea ice, by the way, forms at minus 1.6 degrees Celsius. The warmest temperature ever recorded here in Svalbard is 21.3 degrees Celsius, and we might give that a bit of a shake today. The coldest is 46.7 degrees, which is not the coldest place in the world, not even the coldest I've ever been. Now, who owns Svalbard. Well, it was disputed for many years, but in the Paris Peace Conference post-World War I, the sovereignty of Svalbard was finally settled, and yep, it's Norwegian territory with a proviso. The countries agreed that it was Norwegian so long as Norway couldn't restrict anyone coming. That means no one needs a visa to come here to visit, live, or work. It's one of the few places in the world that can be considered genuinely international territory, although the sovereignty of somebody. So what else do you do in the Arctic? You sit in a spa and enjoy the view while the sun's out, and you've got plenty of time. The next sunset is August 26th, and today is June 11th. Think about that. Andrew. What are you doing, you moron? Man, I'm sunbaking, it's Calypso Bay. Man, it's Calypso Bay, Arctic, not Calypso Bay, Jamaica. What? We're not in the Caribbean, but look at all the white sand. It's not sand, it's snow. Uh. Shower's free, oh, thanks. What are you doing? I'm putting on sunscreen. Why? Because I got sunburned today. But it's after six o'clock, we're going to dinner. Haven't you noticed we're above the Arctic Circle and the sun is doing this big circle in the sky? It's not going up, it's not coming down. It's at exactly the same point on height, but going around and around. In other words, I'm just right. as likely to get sunburned going to dinner or midnight as I was at midday. 